Hi there everybody and welcome to another video on my CLK here. Uh, this is a 2002 model um, CLK 230 convertible. So I'm working on a problem I have with the roof which sometimes works sometimes it doesn't and the other problem is that um, when I have the roof shut um, the little switch with the for operating the roof remains on um, suggesting it, uh, from what i've found out if it remains on it thinks that the uh, the roof is still open so i'm trying to figure that out and the other thing i'm trying to figure out which is probably related is that i can't operate the boot i can't actually open the boot um when the roof is shut because um the system thinks that the the roof is still open which means it could damage obviously it doesn't allow you to open the boot because it can get damaged so makes sense uh, occasionally when whatever sensor is faulty it decides to work it allows me to open the boot so for now i have to open the boot manually so so far i've dismantled nearly the entire car to check all the uh, sensors <laughs> The micro switches so on this video i'm just planning to show you where the micro switches are um because now i've discovered i think i've discovered all of them and this might help somebody um try to start looking into your micro switches as well if you have a similar problem um so you may notice that i've, I've removed everything i removed it's uh it's just panels that are covering basically all this all the all these um s systems here so there is a solenoid there that operates this part and then there's another solenoid here hydraulics these hydraulic parts that operate the opening uh, unlatching of certain parts uh, but within those there is the micro switches um so I'm still figuring this out it's but I'm also I'm actually making the video as well to try and remember exactly what I'm doing here and where things go and how things go back even though I already dismantled most of it but um, as I as I carry on I just thought this is getting more and more um, of a dismantling situation so don't want to get let it go too far so there is another micro switch here as well. When you shut this, there is a micro switch in here that also um, allows you to, sorry, um, it lets the system know that this bit is closed. And when you open this bit, the windows go down. Um, so I was just checking that as well. I had to um, obviously remove all of this here. Um, so you kind of have to remove the visors from here the sun visors which is all really you know screws it's not uh, any rocket science here it's all phillips screws that remove everything and this kind of um there is a panel that unplugs from the top and then it gets uh, gives you access to getting this out it's not really a, a terrible one to undo um However, <laughs> if I bring this down a little bit and I put a light just here, you will see that there, that it's, so just there is the micro switch here, sorry, just there, you can just hear it clicking. So um, when this is open, um, the micro switch is pressed in. So it's like an open loop. So there's no resistance on my uh, multimeter. When I open that, then uh, technically the micro switch is making a contact inside. And you can hear my multimeter just working there when I open the micro switch 
So that kind of tells me that this micro switch is working. Um, and the color of the wires coming out of here, you have a brown and a gray wire. Now I worked that out, it goes down this bit here, all the way down through the back. <laughs> um, and it comes down to, so let me just get the light again. And uh, it comes down to here. That's the brown and the gray wire coming from that micro switch. So I just put this uh, yellow tape here to find, to just every time I come back to the car after a week or two I forget what I'm doing so I just decided today to sort of mark them I just put in their front micro switch wires and they plug into this plug here at the back there and this plug then has so it plugs into a switch or just uh, plugs in like together and other two wires come out of the back of that and those two wires are obviously the brown one you can see them here brown and the gray wire the gray wire now has a, a, a black line running through it so in the original wiring it's a pure gray and brown on the continuation, it's a it's a brown and a, and a gray and black. So all the the brown wires are earth connections, and the gray and and black in this case um, will go all the way to the to the main controller at the back. Um, so that comes all the way from this switch here, which now I've think I'm gonna rule out as working but actually I'm just testing it at this point and it is working so I know that this micro switch is working and the wiring up to here is fine so now I need to connect I need to find uh, the gray and black at the back and the brown is just an earth so basically when you come to your controller here so let's try to get some light if you look at the controller you have a million wires i've actually removed the cover of the of the wiring as well um and i temporarily plugged that in the other day because i was doing something but if i take that out so in this wiring there will be technically a gray uh, and black wire that comes from that front so once you find that you can actually test with your multimeter again so all the earths come here from all the micro switches and other earth things they all come to this point here um, so I'm just looking for the gray and black here so we can give this a go so I'm just gonna try to find it and then I'm gonna connect my um, multimeter so we can check it right so I've just connected uh, the side one side of my multimeter I got these cables connected to the ends of the multimeter I've connected that to this pink wire uh, I just have I added this pink wire to the earth section here so i can have it permanently connected there so i can check um i can do my checks so that's just a tip there you can do something similar or not you can connect another wire directly to there if you wish to so that covers my earth side of things and i found the gray and black wire that comes from the front it's just where the my white wire is you can just see it there. Um, so now I put the the other white wire, which is connected to the other side of my multimeter. So that way we're going to check the resistance. So that's one side, and the other side is just over there. 
so that's on that so i'm expecting oops that's gone off <laughs> okay so i'm expecting now that when i open the switch the micro switch that's gonna go to zero and if that is the case then at least i know the wiring from there is fine and i can close all this thing here and put it together because the less things i have apart the better because i don't want to be stuck with not knowing how things go back this has been open for weeks now i just haven't had time to do it right so now i'm going to open the micro switch and hope that this so there we are open close so that is working so that's one micro switch tested <laughs> now um that's an example of how i'm sort of tackling this um i haven't found the problem yet so um i just wanted to make the quick video here if anyone is uh looking for the micro switches so let me show you now where all the micro switches are um so there is one in here so let me get the light you might be able to see it just the tip of it but this thing here it's one of the micro switches and it's almost it's like a three-way micro switch um so okay um i'm just gonna show you the um the easier micro switches and then i'll show you these ones here there is two in here um there's one here in this uh, hydraulic solenoid in there um and the wiring comes out here so that's the one in there and uh, this operates the little micro switch in there so when this locks it clicks and it opens the system so here is the uh, let's have a look at the color of the wires there for this particular one so you have a brown and you have a yellow and purple yellow and purple in there that operates the little micro switch in there uh, you can take this off I've taken this off before just like so and you can but you don't really need to take it off you can you can test the micro switch um, you actually need to remove this little cover so you can operate the micro switch in there is because I already checked it and and this turned out to be okay as well um, so you got some Phillips screws there three of them you remove this cover and you can actually operate that micro switch um, let me just check if I can actually maybe see it from the other side this is the problem when you are not constantly working on it it's a good idea to when you start the job you continue doing it <laughs> right let me just check okay i just decided to remove the little cover and um, so i can show you the micro switch properly so that's the one there and when you operate the roof when this shuts this opens so you can just hear it clicking so technically when this closes that that's that um now i didn't actually check when that is closed if this is actually opening that i mean it, it might be that the micro switch is fine but when that is goes down it's not actually it's just sitting in there without opening the clip um, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna test that micro switch so I can satisfy myself is the correct uh, 
is, is actually working and the color of the wires in here again is a gray solid gray and a brown and then it becomes a brown and a yellow purple so I'm just gonna check that again and satisfy myself is actually okay okay I've connected it into there and uh, now I'm just gonna open that and technically it should yep open close open close so that micro switch is working um, now the question would be whether it's actually working when this is closed so I think if I have this out and I close my roof I mean I close this part then um, I could potentially find out if that is working so hopefully this wiring is not gonna get cut so um, we can see I'm gonna use this tool as well so I can close this bit So when we shut it, right, that's closed and that's working. That's open and that stopped working. Close, open, close, open. Okay, so the other micro switch, it's um, is the one just here. On there. And again, you just have to follow the color of the wires. They come up to this point here, and then they plug into here. And then you have a pink and a gray wire and the the brown wire and then you can follow those wires they come through here apparently these because uh, this part here goes up and down quite a lot these wires here can sometimes break around here so i stripped everything here to have a look and even well i tested them obviously but um, i couldn't find any issues there and these are the wires here as you can see i Made a bit of a cut there in order to test continuities and whatnot. Um, and again, those just go to the controller. Um, so next, we're going to have a look at the uh, micro switch. There's another one in the boot. And the only one that I haven't shown you or I might not be able to show you is uh, the, the headrests here. These have to go all the way down and then they release. Um, if these are not down, you can't actually, you can't operate the soft top either. So I think there is a micro switch somewhere in there um, for the headrests. So make sure you get them down before you operate your roof. Otherwise, um, it won't operate. So that's just one thing um, that you need to do as well. So anyway, let's have a look at the micro switches because this video is concentrating on that today. So we've seen the uh, micro switch that's behind that panel. We've seen the micro switch up here. And uh, then there is another one here. Not sure I already mentioned it, but I just got it covered there with some tape. So basically this one here, that one basically is when you have your compartment here closed it needs to be closed in order for you to operate the roof so I got some tape on it because obviously I'm doing some tests and whatnot so you got that sensor there or that micro switch and then there's another one here if you remove this little cover you will find this one here 
and this one basically it's the one when when this cover is open um, when it co when the cover opens this way it operates this one here um, then obviously the boot the boot has its own sense when it's when it's locked obviously the car knows it's locked we have uh, that we have the vice and and the lock itself um, and um, then so now I'm going to open the roof again and I'm going to show you the other two micro sensors that are on the side of the actual roof um, and the wiring for this uh, the wiring for this one just comes down through there and this this one here is actually the one for here but then you need to remove quite a, a bit of all of these in in order to get access to the wiring from this from the sensor here um, but that wiring goes all the way back to um, the controller and the earth side of the wires they all seem to go there so all the earth side of wires go there and the actual the other ones go into the controller So let me get this uh, roof a little bit open and I can show you the other uh, two micro switches that are sitting somewhere here. Okay, so I have the roof open, soft top open. And uh, if you look on the side here, this is one of the uh, micro switches or sensors and uh, the other one is this one here so that operates there this one often breaks and also this one often this bit here often comes out it comes out flying and then and then um, the roof just doesn't work but the two of these these two here the cables um, go down so I've got the seat out at the minute you might be I got a mirror here but basically these down here are the cables So those connectors down there are the connections for these sensors here. And uh, now I put a cable tie on that one to keep it in place and also this one here. Um, so I purchased these two brand new a few years ago. So I don't know, I, don't, I have no reason to suspect that they are faulty, but they could be I suppose. Um, so there's those two. It's got a part number there. But these have like a three-way function. So this one here is just down there and then the neutral position and then it's got this other side that clicks on. So again, yeah, that's like a double micro switch. And this also is the same. It's like a um, double micro switch. Um, so this has three wires, this has three wires, uh, the other ones have two wires, like this one here has two wires and whatnot. So anyway, those are all of the sensors that you're going to find. So we have a one, the front one, one, two, three, four, five, and the one in the boot six um i don't think i missed any oh no the one for the compartment so that would be seven actually the one that you need to shut the compartment uh, where this goes into basically 
So that would be seven. Um, and uh, that's pretty much um, all of the micro switches that are here. Apart from that, we have all the hydraulics, obviously, but um, I, I still have a problem with this, which does not want to operate. Uh, it, it occasionally is operating, and uh, another times it's just not operating. Like a minute ago, it opened. It opened with no issues, but it refuses to shut. Um, and on other occasions, it refuses to open and shut or anything. So, so something has to be. Something's not working, but I, I've changed. I've checked all of the um, microsensor wiring, and it seems to be okay. Um, the only ones that maybe, the only other thing might be that the uh, controller is faulty, which is a possibility. Um, anyway, so as far as this uh, video goes, and if it helps you locate the sensors, then that is a plus, I guess. Um, so having said that, hope the video helps. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. So thank you for watching.